What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Long time no upload, I know. Um, I am super excited to be sitting and talking with you guys about this topic today because it's something that I've wanted to have done for so long and now I'm excited to um, talk about my experience and upload a video for you guys. So here it goes. So today we're talking all about my experience with a keratin hair treatment, which is something I've wanted to do forever. Um, I initially went in thinking I was going to get a Brazilian blowout, but um, we ended up doing a keratin treatment and I'll explain that um, in the video as well. But I wanted to kind of start off by telling you guys like my hair type, the history of my hair, how I was brought to this decision, and then my experience with the um, keratin treatment itself. Uh, I filmed some clips at the salon, which is really exciting, and I'm really proud of myself for doing that because I do not film in public ever, so shout out to me for um, growing a pair and doing it. Um, but so, a little bit of background on my hair. I am biracial or mixed, um, so my mom is white and my dad is black, and therefore I have a very unique hair texture, and it can be really challenging to deal with. Um, it's not, obviously it's not your typical Caucasian hair. I have really, um, I have really intense curls, and they're very thick and very frizzy and very coarse. Um, but like I said, so tip, not your typical Caucasian hair, obviously. I have really kinky, curly hair. Um, but it's also not your typical African American hair either. Using like um, oils and greases and typical products that African American women use on their hair and hot combs and things like that were too extreme for my hair and would make my hair too heavy and too greasy and oily. Um, even though my hair is quite dry naturally, just my hair texture didn't require the types of products that typically are used in the African American hair community. So, what am I supposed to do? I don't really know. Um, I have kind of always used hair products just from, you know, the, dr the drugstore, Walgreens, Target, whatever, um, like Garnier and things like that, and just whatever you can buy off the shelves which I was informed by my hairdresser to stop doing. So we'll back up a little bit. As a kid, um, when I was younger, I used to get chemical relaxers. I used to have my hair cornrowed and braided um, probably up until middle school, I want to say. Maybe like eighth grade. I want to say it was the last chemical relaxer I had in my hair. So after I stopped getting chemical relaxers, that's when I kind of just started using whatever I found in the drugstore um, or at the grocery store or at Target in my hair. Nothing really special. So fast forward to probably the last two and a half or three years, I feel like all of the chemical relaxer has officially grown out of my hair and I had no idea what to do with my hair at all. Uh, I was really nervous to go and have my hair done because of previously not super awesome experiences, but I was encouraged by my mom to do some research on it and another coworker in my office who has similar hair texture to me. And so I went online, of course, and did my research. So I found my salon through uh, the Brazilian Blowout website. The salons are tiered based on their level of knowledge on um, blowouts and things. So I think the salon that I went to was, I think it went like gold and platinum? I have no idea. But it was a top tiered salon and it was actually one of the only salons in Tucson that was certified, um, that the, the stylists were certified in this treatment. So. Did extensive research, called the salon, I also read the reviews on Yelp, which were all really good. Um, called the salon, made an appointment, and I had it done right before I was headed to San Francisco for my birthday. So I made my appointment for right before I left for San Francisco, and I filmed a few clips of the process, but I will explain it um, kind of as you're watching it. So essentially, 
Um, I went in and we kind of sat and talked for a few minutes about what I wanted out of the treatment and um, kind of the differences between a Brazilian and a keratin treatment. Obviously, um, I'm not a professional, so if you are looking into the differences, do your own research and um, you know speak with a stylist who is certified in said treatments. I took you guys with me to the salon so that you guys could see the process in person and um, everything that I went through uh, while I was there. It did take about four hours. I have a ton of hair. Typically, when someone gets a keratin treatment, it is anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours. It took me four because it may not look like it now, but I have so much hair. And it's thick and it's dense and it's curly. So, um, took about four hours. We started with just kind of like talking about, again, like I said, what I wanted out of the treatment. Um, and I told her I just wanted my hair, I don't want to lose my natural texture. Um, I have, I don't want my hair to just be like pin straight. I just want something that's more manageable, more tame, less frizz, um, faster styling time, and something that's humidity resistant. And she recommended with my hair texture and just my hair type, I have really dry, coarse hair. She recommended the keratin versus the Brazilian because I'd get more moisture and hydration out of the keratin. That's kind of what it boiled down to. So we moved forward with that. So the process kind of goes like this. You you know go over to the sink and you she uses kind of not a clarifying shampoo. Um, it's not going to strip your hair like clarifying shampoos do, but just kind of a, an ultra cleansing shampoo to make sure that you're getting all the product and the buildup out of your hair without sh completely stripping it, um, like clarifying shampoos can do. Rinsed it out, and then we went in and applied um, the actual keratin product itself all over my hair. Let that sit for 30 minutes, I believe, and you don't rinse it out. Then from there you just blow dry, straighten, and I will tell you, my reaction at first was like, wow, this is a great, like, you know, blow dry and straighten, this looks awesome compared to what I can do at home, but not quite what I was hoping for. Um, I was hoping for this level of hair that I have now, and my hairstylist assured me to just leave it alone. I had to go home, wait 72 hours, let the product sit in my hair for 72 hours. After that, I could rinse it out, wash it out really well, and then you know proceed with styling, and I would be happy with my results. I am super impatient, so that was very difficult for me. So I did touch it up with a flat iron really quickly, but you're not advised to do that because you can literally burn your hair off. I am just dumb <laughs> and and yeah, and OCD, so um, don't do what I did, don't be like me. But after I rinsed um, the original product out and blew, blow, did the blow dryer and straightened my hair, this is the result that I was left with and I could not be happier. I honestly think it's amazing, it was worth every single penny and I will do it for the rest of my life. I love it so much. I feel like I don't even know whose hair this is on my head. Like, it's so smooth. She also gave me a trim, which I really appreciated because I needed it desperately. Um, but it's so smooth, it's so shiny. Um, it's super easy to do. Now it takes me about, let's see, what time is it? Let's say I got out of the shower at about 12.30 and was done with my hair by two. So yeah. It took it cut my styling time in half. It took me an hour and a half to do my hair when typically it would take me three hours. Um, so that I'm super, super happy with and I'm just amazed that this is the hair on my head and I'm obsessed. It was worth every penny. It was expensive um, for me because I have so much hair and it took double the time to do the treatment. I of course paid more. Um, and then I also bought some aftercare products at the salon that were recommended by my stylist. Now, your treatment itself typically lasts um, 12 weeks. Depending on how often you wash your hair, I wash my hair a lot less because I have naturally really dry hair and I can go a long time without my hair looking oily or greasy or anything like that. So I pretty much wash my hair like once a week. So 
10 out of 10 would recommend. Moral of the story, go do it. If you've been thinking about doing it, do it. So I'm super, super happy with the results. My hair feels healthier than it ever has in my life and I would sit through another four hours and 72 hours of wait time for the rest of my life to have this done because it's honestly incredible and I'm so grateful that I bit the bullet and I, and I tried it because I was really skeptical and just nervous to do anything new to my hair because I'd had such not awesome experiences in the past. So if you're thinking about getting a keratin or a Brazilian blowout done, I would say go for it. Make sure that you find a stylist who is um, knowledgeable, certified. My stylist actually used to teach um, courses on these treatments for Brazilian blowout, the company. Um, so I felt super confident in letting her do my hair. So make sure you do your research, but I am absolutely in love with my results. I don't think that I will ever go back to anything else ever again. And I will continue to do this as long as I need to because it's amazing. I highly recommend Mingle Salon in Salon and Spa in Tucson. They do hair. Uh, I believe she has an esthetician. They do nails. The whole works, cut color, all of it. Um, the staff there is really, really sweet. Jessica herself, she's the owner. She's amazing. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it wasn't too rambly. I feel like I have to get back into the swing of organizing my videos and making sure that I get straight to the point faster and don't ramble, but bear with me. Um, like I said, leave a comment down below if you guys have had this treatment done, um, if you liked it, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.